So now it's time to prepare something for our supplier. So well, something that we're going to actually send to them. So what does the supplier need? The supplier needs um, the the details of the, of the ASIN of of the SKU that we're looking to buy. So basically these details here, and then they need to know how many units we want. Okay. So I'm going to copy this information across over here. I'm not going to um, copy the unit price because we have a discount. So I'm going to copy this and come across to this section here and I paste it in there. I'm going to name this whole section purchase order. Okay. So let me just expand the UPC section. All right. Great. Now, now we want to consider our price after the discount. So I'm going to copy this whole section here. I'm going to control C and copy it. But notice when I'm coming here, because there's a formula in here, all these are formulas. So you see that we want to paste the values only. So in this next column here, which I'm going to name our price, I'm going to right click. And, oh, let me just copy that again. Now I'm going to right click in here and say paste, not this paste, you see that? We've got, an, we've got the, the, an incorrect value there. I'm going to right click and say paste values. So now we only have the values that were set in that previous section. Okay. Then, now the next one, I'm going to write the word quantity. So it's how many units we're buying. And lastly, we want total cost for the whole one, um, for that SKU that we're bu buying off of. Them. Okay. So now importantly, we have the quantity, which we said was 60, but some are three packs, some are two packs. So we've got to consider this. So in the quantity that we're going to request from our supplier, we're going to say this equals 60, which is what we wanted to buy. And we're going to multiply that by the quantity that's in each ASIN. So I'm going to click on the three over here in column I, and I'm going to hit enter. So for this, this um, ASIN here, or for this SKU, we need 180 units. I'm going to copy this down to the rest of them. So notice that for some, we're buying 60, the single packs. For the, the ones that are two packs, we're buying 120. And for the ones that are three packs, we're buying 180. So let me just center all these. Okay. Let me apply some filtering, some, some borders. All right, great. So the total cost, of course, will equal the 180 units that we're buying times our price of $1.58 for this one. So let's apply this to to the whole um, to the to the whole column right there. All right, expand this. All right, and let's make all this white. All right, great. Let's also apply um, the. the the sums of all these. So I'm going to click on auto sum at the top here, hit enter. So 840 units. So it's not 480 units. For, it might be 480 um, units we're sending in as ASINs to Amazon. But what we're actually buying, because considering the three packs and the two packs, um, is 840 units in total. And we're going to auto sum the total cost for our supplier. So it's, of course, it's the total ASIN cost is not $4,408 because we're not considering the prep fees. This is only the information that we're sending to our supplier. So total, now let's make all this bold, control B. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this and I paste it again as a value. So now this is set, so all the all, all the previous um all the previous formulas and all that, they're gone. So now we've we've only pasted the values in here. Okay, so in the next phase, we'll probably want to send this off to our supplier. So I'm going to create a new Excel. And I'm going to copy this data here in the new Excel. So I'm just going to grab the data, grab all this, copy, go to the new Excel. And I'm going to paste that in there for our supplier. Great. All right, just expand all this so you can see all the information he needs to. And say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Supplier, this is what I want to buy. 
let me know if it's available. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this as purchase order, date, supplier ABC, and save and we're done. Now we can send this off to our supplier and they can get back to us with what's available and what isn't.